Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. So today I will be talking about some brushes that have quickly become my favorites. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do because I constantly post pictures of products, things like that. A couple of weeks back, I, po I posted a picture of some brushes that I got in the mail and I told you guys if you would want to see a video on it and you said yes. I've had these in my in my possession for a couple of weeks now and I am now ready to talk about them because I wanted to make sure that these were brushes that I really liked and that I make sure that I tried all of them not just one or two so I can give you my full opinion honest opinion whether these brushes are amazing or you know what the deal is with these brushes. As always, you guys know that I'm honest about products that are sent to me and uh, products or when I'm doing a sponsored video. This is not a sponsored video, but they did send these brushes for me for me to try and in exchange for a review. Um, with that said, like I said, I have tried some of their other brushes before, especially the Flat Top Kabuki brush, or I guess that's the only brush that I've tried. And I really, really love it. I usually like to use beauty blenders on my face versus... Um, brushes but that's just personal preference so this is the eight piece eye brush set and let me tell you what brushes you will get in this little pouch so this is brush number one i'm just going to go in whatever order this is the all over shader brush and i don't know if my camera can focus on this but i will have close up for you guys pretty much what this is is a flat brush i love love this brush this is probably one of my top three favorites from this collection um, or the sets and it's amazing to pack on the eyeshadow this is also really good to go underneath your brow bone if you want to do that it'll pack it on really nicely and then you get that really nice clean look underneath your brows the second one and this one is dirty because i was using it today is their pencil brush i have been wanting one of these for the longest time ever but I refuse to just order one brush, so I just never bought it. This is what I use in my Get Ready With Me video when I was defining my cut crease. I love to just dip in, I just love to use this to go back into that crease and redefine it just because it is so small and perfectly tapered that it'll just go right in there. I also like to use this to go underneath my lower lash line and just really smoke it out. The next one is the blending brush. Everybody loves blending brushes. I love blending brushes. This is just a really short, it's a really short bristled blending brush. And I love it because, first of all, it is so soft. This one is perfect for diffusing the color. Um, like if you're doing like a smoky eye, you just take it and you just really go in there and diffuse the color. I did use this one to diffuse like that brown that I had or that I have on my outer corner. And oh, it's perfect. It, like I said, it just it really does the work for you. Another one of my favorites is the Angled Shading Brush. Again, if you don't have that natural structure of your um, crease to be really like sunking in, I guess. I, I hope that makes sense. But this will help you just really get in there into the crease. I love, love, love this one. I used to own one. I don't know from what brand. It is super old, but I threw it away years ago because it was just wasn't working the next one has to be my absolute favorite i know that i've been saying that about all of them but this one is just oh amazing so this is the tapered blending brush now when i got this it reminded me so much of the sigma i think it's the e40 blending brush i believe let me get it so this is the sigma tapered blending e40 brush and this is a tapered blending brush I will have a close-up again of them because my camera won't focus on items that are not my face. So the difference between these, this one is rounded. This is a Sigma one. This one is more rounded and it's a lot thinner and then it goes to like a little ruedita at the top. Versus this one, it's really tapered and it's just pointed at the top versus this one rounded and then this one just goes to a point. This is what I've been using every day. You've probably seen these brushes in some of my 
recent tutorials from last week because this is just amazing. I haven't even used this and this is my holy grail brush. I haven't touched this since I got this because it's just that amazing. Another amazing brush is the flat definer brush. So this one, it's just your regular flat brush and it is really nice and squared. I love to use this one for two things to go over my lip liner or my lipstick and clean it up which is what I use this for today or I can really use this for a cream product and then clean up the brows so I can get them on fleek so I love using that one uh, for this I do have a couple of these so I kind of change in between them this one is another okay I'm just gonna say they're all my favorite okay We'll just say that. This one is the Pro Crease Brush. And again, I will zoom you guys in in a little bit. But this one is, unlike the other one, unlike this one, it is a lot more shorter and it's more rounded. This one as well is perfect for diffusing the color on the crease. If you really just want to get in there and diffuse everything, this is amazing for it. And then the last one that I have is the Pro Blending Brush. So you're getting a lot of blending brushes here, which is really good because I'm all about blending. You know that blending is life and if your blending game is not strong, I don't know but this is a really good brush again just to go in and blend all the colors together it is a lot shorter and a lot more um, how would I say it? it's not as fluffy as the other ones nonetheless it's a great one this is the one that I like to use for my lower lash line when I apply colors which is pretty much all the time that I'm wearing eyeshadow it really diffuses the color and because it is not so big or it's not so fluffy it just really diffuses everything super nice so that was a quick little review that I wanted to do on these brushes again I just really honestly love them and you will probably see them in every tutorial that I do now because I think they're amazing I was even telling my sister way before I filmed to this video I'm like girl you gotta get these brushes they're so amazing She's been on the hunt for some brushes too and she's like, what are some good brushes to buy? And I told her, look, I just got these in the mail. I got a coupon code for you, girl. I got you. These brushes are life. So they did provide a coupon code for you guys. It is not an affiliate uh, code, so I will not earn one cent off of you. I will also have them in the description. Blah, blah, blah. I will also have them in the info bar. That's what happens when I try to talk too fast. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. These are honestly top quality and affordable products that are under $30. If you are a mommy on a budget, but you are still a makeup lover, this video is for you. If you are just on a budget in general and you want good quality brushes without, you know, breaking your bank, try these. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. So that is everything for today's. So that is everything for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, then don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.